Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to launch Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 game on your Windows computer or if you're facing crashing and freezing issue. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. Restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still you're facing the problem, then try these in launch options. So make a right click on this game, select properties. Under general, here you can see the launch option. In the launch option, type in dash dx11 and then close this launch the game and then check if that does not work this time type in dash d3 d11 and then launch the game and then check if that does not work this time type in dash window dash d3 d11 so over here type in dash dash window so you, you have to put dash over here dash window space dash d3 d11 and now launch the game and then check if that does not work type in dash dx12 and then launch the game now still if nothing is working you can remove this from the launch option clear launch option and then follow the next step now the next step is to rename open xr folder now for this Make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. Open this engine folder, open binaries folder, open third party folder. Here you can see open XR folder, make a right click and then you can rename it as openxr.old. So just rename this open XR folder and then launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have Nvidia card, go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website now over here select your product type make sure that you select the right product type over here then select the right series make sure that you select your series over here and then select your graphic card so make sure that you select your graphic card over here now if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on start search now scroll down over here you can see the latest GeForce game ready driver is 545.92 this this is the latest one right now so click on get download and then click on download now now once the download is complete run this exe file now once you run this exe file you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation so put a check over here and then click on next and let the installation complete first of all it will uninstall the previous version and then it will install the new version so let the installation complete and once the installation is complete restart your computer make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to now this is for laptop users with dual graphic card make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings now click on browse over here now go to the game installation folder if the game is installed in c drive open c drive if the game is installed in d drive open d drive so go to open program files x86 if it is installed in c drive open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder over here you will find the game folder open the game folder select the game exe file over here and then click on add once it is added click on options select high performance now click on save again click on browse and then this time open hot wheels 2 folder binaries win64 select this exe file now click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game and then check now the next step is to run run the game from the game installation folder so make a right click on the game select manage and then click on browse local files now over here make a double click and run the game from the game installation folder so instead of click on play over here don't click on play in steam instead you can just make a double click over here launch the game from the game installation folder if that does not work make a right click and then select properties and then over here go to compatibility and then put a check on run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work this time 
put a check on disable full screen optimization then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work this time again put a check over here and then select windows 8 click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work this time you can try select windows 7 from the list click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still you're facing the problem then open hot wheels 2 folder make a um, open binaries win 64 and then make a double click over here you can just make a double click and then launch the game from here if that does not work do the same thing over here put a check on run this program as an administrator click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work then put a check on disable full, full screen optimization click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work again this time select put a check over here select windows 8 click on apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work select windows 7 click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game now still it is not working in that case uncheck all the boxes so if these are not working then no need uh, you can uncheck all these boxes go back do the same thing with the first exe file over here make a right click select properties uncheck all the boxes if these are not working then you can uncheck these boxes click on apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to update windows to the latest latest version now this is important so open windows settings go to update and security or windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed make sure all the updates are installed then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to delete the save game files now before you delete the save game file let me inform you that you will lose all the game progress so you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree delete the save game files now for this open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder and then open your username folder and then open app data folder if you don't see app data on the top click on view select show and then put a check on hidden items you should be able to see app data folder if you have windows 10 somewhere over here you will find the view option click on view then somewhere over here you, you will find the hidden items box put a check on hidden items box you should be able to see app data folder open app data folder open the local folder now over here find the hot wheels 2 folder here you can see hot wheels 2 make a right click and then click on delete once this is deleted now launch the game and then check now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings now click on privacy and security if you have windows 11 click on privacy and security then click on windows security if you have windows 10 click on up you will have an option update in security click on update in security then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through controlled folder access click on yes to allow then click on add an allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder open the game folder and then select the game exe file now click on open again click on add an allowed app browse all apps again open hot wheels 2 folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel now click on system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings in the top click on allow another app now click on browse and then again open the game folder now once you open the game folder select this exe file click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added so if not added add it again click on allow allow another app then click on browse and then open hot wheels 2 binaries win 64 select the second exe file click on open now click on add now once the game is added over here now click on ok on the bottom and then launch the game now still you're facing the problem now the next step is to verify the game file this is important so go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to installed files and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game 
Now, the next step is to disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. Disconnect additional controller connected to the com computer. Sometimes you have extra controller or USB adapter connected, disconnected. Also, if you have these devices connected, make sure that you disconnect all the external devices which you're not using, disconnect it. If you have any kind of USB adapter connected which you're not using, disconnect it. Also, disable Steam overlay for this. Make a right click on the game, select properties, turn off this option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then launch the game. Also, close all the overlay applications. So, if you have overlay on in Discord, turn it off. If you have overlay on in GeForce Experience, turn it off. So, close all the overlay application. Also, close all the overclocking application. So, if you have MSI Afterburner, Reva Tuner, or any other overclocking application, make sure that you close overclocking application and then launch the game. Also, if you have any third party services or software running, make sure that you close all the third party software, all the third party application and services. So make sure only the Steam and the game is running, rest close everything. So if you have OBS or any browser open, including all your browsers, close all your browsers, especially the Chrome browser. So close all the browser and then launch the game. Also remove the underworld. So if you have underworld to the computer, remove the underworld and then launch the game. To perform clean boot, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Make sure that you put a check on this box and then click on disable all. In my case, this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So make sure that you put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all. Then click on apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart a computer and then launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size, it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case it's 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16, 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So 1, 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152 49152 49152 Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart the computer after this. Now the next step is to Install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, you can see Visual 
Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22, download x86 and download x64. And then run both the exe file, that is x64 and x86. Run both the exe file, click on it. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see install option, click on install. In my case, this is already installed, so it's telling me to restart my computer. So please ignore this error. In my case, this is already installed. Now run the second file as well. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. In my case, it is already installed, so it's telling me to restart a computer. In your case, you'll be able to install it. Now, once installed, you will see a restart option like this. Make sure that you restart a computer. So restart is a must. Restart a computer and then launch the game. Next step is to try window mode and then lower down graphics settings. So switch to window mode and lower down graphics settings. So if you are able to launch the game, launch the game first. So go to settings and then go to video. Now over here, lower down video resolution. Now if this is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower it down. Click on yes and then select window mode. Now if window mode is locked like this, in that case, you can turn off NVIDIA DLSS. So turn it off. Now once you turn it off, you should be able to switch to window mode. So you can turn on the window mode. Click on yes and then turn off vSync and then check the performance. You can try both vSync on and off and check which one is working fine for you. If AMD FSR is on, you can turn it off. Now, if you want to use it, you can use it in quality. And if still it's not working, then you can turn off AMD FSR. Now you can set the frame rate at 60 or maybe 90 or 120. I will keep it at 60. Now over here, scroll down advanced settings. Here you can see quality. If everything is set to ultra, you can try very high. You can even go for high or you can even go for medium or low quality. So you can lower down quality over here and then apply the settings and then check the performance. Now the next step is to update system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. If you have HP, go to HP. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest BIOS update available. Now, before you update the system BIOS in case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when, when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now, the last step is to uninstall the game and reinstall the game. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on uninstall. Now, after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder and then restart your computer. And after the system restart, reinstall the game to another SSD. So if you have SSD, try installing the game to SSD and then launch the game. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on a Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.